my beautiful Sagittarius friends, how are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I'm so happy and excited to have you all here today. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome my friends. My name is Rhea and I do these readings every week. Now Sagittarius, this is a general reading for you, so I do please ask that you take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if any one of you are interested in a personal reading with me, my information is in the description box below for all of you. All right, Sagittarius, I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck, and we're going to find out what message Spirit has for you today. Okay, we've got the Queen of Wands coming in, and the Five of Cups, and we have the Knight of Swords. So give me a moment here, Sagittarius, I'm going to... Use my intuition and see what I draw from the cards here, okay? Okay, so Queen of Wands here, Sagittarius. I feel for some of you, you are in a place right now where you're either burnt out or you're not taking care of yourself right now. Why I say this is because I've got the Five of Cups here and I have the Knight of Swords. So some of you are focusing on a lot of the negative things that have happened in your life, possibly in your past, maybe in relationships, whatever this is for you. If you look at this beautiful queen, she is burnt, okay? She is not in a good place right now. I feel for some of you, you've got one eye open and one eye closed, okay? So here I feel some of you are focusing on pain from your past. Maybe you just haven't let go of something from your past, right? Maybe there were friends, maybe there was a relationship, maybe there were co-workers, toxic friends, whatever this is for you, I feel that you're still hanging on to something that was very painful for you. Um, there's, there's this need for release of all of those energies here, uh, Sagittarius, and I feel you need to do this now, okay? This is why you're watching this reading. I feel whatever those thoughts are, whatever those relationships, whatever anyone has said to you that has hurt you, that has caused you pain, needs to be released now, okay? And, you know, you're, th that focus of being in that negative place is your mindset, Okay, I feel you need to change your mindset and start to think more positively. There are tons of videos online uh, about mindset shift. I had one out not too long ago that a good friend of mine had. And I feel that um, some of you may need to shift your mindset here because of the negative thinking, that pattern of negative thinking here, okay? And because of that, you're not able to move forward. You're not able to grow within the place that you're in right now. I feel some of you are feeling a stagnant energy. It's almost like no matter what you do, you're just not able to move forward. And that is because I feel your mindset is still around in a negative place, okay? And you need to release this energy here. I feel that um, maybe this was friendships. I feel for some of you Sagittarius says you went through a really tough life I think growing up through the friendships maybe your parents whoever it was maybe your teachers it could have been anyone in your life I feel along that journey through life you come to this place now where um, it's almost like you've lost hope you don't have any faith in people it's just this negative feeling that you've kind of been stuck with for a very long time right and your thoughts keep going back there. I feel even if something good happens to you, you run back to those old thoughts like, no, this can't, no, I'm sure that this will end up bad. I know this feels good right now, but like everything else in my life, this is probably going to turn out bad too. So that thinking, right? So if you're in that place right now, know that you're watching this reading because it's now a time for you to release that energy. Okay, this is what I'm getting here very strongly for you. And I feel that writing a letter, and I, I know I say this all the time, but I feel that it works in a major way here, okay? I feel writing it down, writing down how you're feeling, why you're feeling like that, who made you feel like that, and then addressing each person separately, addressing each situation separately, writing down who said what to you, 
how it made you feel, how it makes you feel now, okay? And releasing that energy by either burning that letter or letting it um, kind of fade away in the water, okay? Letting it melt away in the water and then just flush it away. But I feel right now you need to work on releasing this energy here, Sagittarius, because you're not going to be able to move forward if you don't let it go, okay? So spirit guides really want you to focus in and try to nurture yourself. This is all about taking care of yourself here, Sagittarius. This is self-care that you need in a big way in order for you to grow. And I feel that the moment you start doing that, start releasing that energy, you're going to see how your relationships begin to grow. Okay, you're going to start getting um, creating uh, deeper connections with people, deeper c connections with love partners. Okay, um, and that thinking, I feel like you need a mindset shift. Um, you need to take a course. You need to, there, you don't even have to take a course. There's so many free videos online that you can watch. Spirit guides are also asking you to start using affirmations daily in order to break free from that negative thinking here as well, okay? So I feel that some of you need to start working on yourselves to put yourself in this place where you can start thinking of life thinking of your situation in a more positive way, okay? I'm going to pull some more cards, but I do feel um, some of you might have been hurt through a past partner, um, friends, parents. Maybe your parents were really strict. Maybe, maybe your parents weren't supportive enough of you, right? They said negative things. Maybe you come from a broken home. I come from a broken home, right? So I know how that feels. I come from a very strict family as well, so <laughs> so I had a really rough upbringing, and um, I released all my energy a long time ago, so it's helped me quite a bit. Sometimes things creep up, I feel for you, yes, there's days, there's moments when things come up really um, thick and like heavy and it puts you in this place of depression or anxiety right and you're just not able to get out of that space so you need to learn how to manage that I feel for some of you you might need to look for professional help in order to break free from that uh, pattern of thinking some of you can do it on your own right and it just takes practice so I feel very strongly here, Sagittarius, it's now time to release that pain. It's now time to release that past. And look at that. Ooh, this just fell because it doesn't want to be seen. We've got, we've got the devil card coming in. So this could also be bad habits on your part. Maybe there's an addiction, right, um, that you're dealing with and you're, you're needing to have to let that go okay uh realizing and coming to this place where you understand if you have an addiction what if you're um drinking alcohol way too much and you don't realize that you're addicted to it right um we've got the fool card coming in and we have the three of wands all right so sagittarius give me one second here while i take a look at all of these cards now i'm starting to fill up my whole desk with them and it's, yeah, it gets a lot for my little desk. Um, yes, I feel for some of you, um, maybe there's some sort of an addiction around social media, possibly, perhaps, right? Um, porn. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that word online, but I'm going to use it, um, right? Something, there's something there that, that is either seducing you or um, just... It's just so negative. I feel it's a negative energy that is kind of sucking you in and your thought patterns are wrapped around this thing, whatever this is here for you. Okay, this could be your past, pain from your past, like I said earlier, or this could be something completely different with the devil card being present in your reading as well, okay? I feel something has a hold of you and that's what it is and you're, you're not able to release this energy because it, it's got a hold of you so tightly and you need to release that energy you have to peel that off whatever this is for you Sagittarius okay and I feel that the moment you do this the moment you release that energy you're gonna see a brand new world in front of you and you're gonna be like whoa like I had not experienced this in the most longest time I don't even know what this feels like to be free 
right? I don't even know where this is going to take me, where this path is going to lead me now that I've left all of that behind, that I've released that energy. Okay, for some of you, you really badly need to release it because you're just not going to move anywhere. You're going to remain in this place that is dark and where it feels like you're suffocating because something is suffocating you, right? It's not you, it's whatever is attached to you, whatever addiction, whatever past um, thought, whatever past situation has attached itself to you in your thoughts, right? So I feel now's the time for you to release that energy, Sagittarius, and open yourself to a brand new world that you didn't even know existed. Or maybe you know it exists, but you just don't know how to get there, right? So I feel for some of you, you are going to need some professional help, right? And you need to seek that. But you have to be in that place where you're actually wanting to accept that help. Right? And I feel if you're watching this reading, you're watching it because your spirit guides have led you here. And now it's time to do that work on yourself. Okay? And I've got the Three of Wands coming in. And I feel there's going to be a lot of work ahead of you here, Sagittarius, especially with releasing of these energies. But I feel that if you f stay focused, you are going to break through that. Break through that barrier. Look at this. Like this person is leaving a trail of fire behind. They're breaking through that that negativity they're breaking through that addiction they're breaking through whatever attachment it's unhealthy it's toxic right and you're going to come out of it and you're going to break free from it and enter this brand new world so for some of you very strongly spirit guides are wanting you to really focus your attention on getting yourself out of that place okay and it's going to take some work and you need to understand it's going to take some work it's not going to be easy but you're going to get there, right? It, there is light at the end of the tunnel, okay? There's a beautiful world waiting for you to embrace it. Um, I do feel that you need to accept the fact that you need this help, okay? That you even have this problem or you have something even attached to you, okay? And if you're watching this reading today and you're in your... You've come to this place where you're like, oh my God, yes, I need to, I say do it right after you turn this reading off or even right now, pick up the phone, get some help, my friends. I feel some of you really need to focus in on getting rid of that energy that has been holding you back for years, I feel. For some of you, it's been years, right? You've been dealing with this for so long and you need that help and know that your spirit guides are with you. You have, you have protection, you have help, you have support, Okay, and lean on friends, especially loved ones that are available to support you in this. Okay, I feel that you're not alone. And uh, know that the universe is wanting to work with you and bring you out of this place so you can come to this place and uh, really enjoy life for what it actually is. And, you know, be on that path that you were meant to be on. I feel like you were led astray by something or someone. And this has kind of put you in this circle, this cycle that just is like a never-ending cycle. But I feel that you can break free from it. You can definitely break free from it, my friends. So if you're watching this reading today, this message is for you, especially if you're wanting to get out of that trap, that cycle that feels like it's never ending because it, it, it will end if you want it to end. You have to be the one that has to put the work in, right? You're the one that has to take that first step. So... This is for you, my friends, those of you that are looking to get out of a negative space. If you've been in there for a long time and you're wanting movement, you're wanting that light to shine on your life, you're wanting that sun to finally shine again, then my friends, this is for you. And if it resonates, please let me know by commenting below, hitting that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.